That's Logger Designs here, um, otherwise known as Nick. Uh, today I'll be coming at you with a tutorial on how to make a um, uh, either a letter or a word that will fill up with particles or liquids or whatever you want to call it in RealFlow. Um, I won't be doing any materials or lighting or um, rendering or anything like that, um, but if you did want um, a material for a liquid, I'd suggest using something like this, obviously blue. You want transparency on it so it looks like liquid. Um, have some reflection on it so that it looks glossy. You can take the specular off and that'll just look nice for some type of liquid. Um, so yeah, uh, now to start off, you just want to go to MoGraph, MoText, drag that into the middle. Um, I'm going to use a font called uh, Val. So I'll just chuck that on there and I'm just going to use L, just a single thing. Um, but you can basically edit this so that it'll kind of fit into any other type of thing that you need. So I'll just chuck the depth onto 80 and now I'll put the subdivision onto 6. 6 works well for me. Now um, you just with um, with the Motex selected just hit C then select children, hit C again, select children, right click again and then press connect. You can delete this and then you're just left with this um, kind of thing here. Now if you want to go into the top view, uh, well you don't really, you can just stay in here kind of. Um, and then if you want to go up here, then hit this little icon here which makes you be able to select these. Um, you just want to go ahead and oops. so then you're just going to want to select all these in succession so yeah that's good um, now you just want to hit delete and that'll kind of make it um, uh, like 3D if you can see that so we'll be able to fill that with liquid uh, now, uh, when we do it in real flow, it will look like the liquid is, is just kind of filling into a glass thing because the L won't actually be there, it'll just be a mesh. So now just click back onto there, go to plugins, uh, sorry, with the Motex selected, go to plugins, real flow, real flow SD exporter. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you are going to need this. Um, I'll put it in as a, as a thing at the start of the video so you'll know about this now. It'll be really weird. Um, just I've already done that so then just find a place where you want to do it um, I already have that so I'll just keep it as that replace add all export make sure your frames are 200 on both of them now go to real flow have a new composition uh, make sure the geometry scale is 1 there and then in preferences make sure it's 0 0.1 there uh, now go to import import object Select your, uh, go to where you saved it, so that's mine. Now I just have that. I will just spin that around, and now I'll just have a nice little thingamabob. Um, that's all done. Nothing needs to be done on that. No kind of nodes or whatever the, whatever you want to do. Um, so I'll just go straight into the next part. Uh, just click on the demons tag kind of thingy. It's the three triangle arrow things um, and just added gravity. Now you don't have to change anything on that, that's that's all fine, so just keep it at that. Now go into emitters, which is these three little circles, and click on square. Now just hit two, sorry one, and then zoom in a bit. This will select the top view and then change the size of your square so that it fits the gaps that you've made in your L and kind of leave a border on each side. So, it's a bit big, so I'll just make that a bit smaller, I'll move that over, and that's kind of nice, has a little border on either side, um, I'll hit 2, I'll drag that up a bit, now I'll hit 4, and I'll just drag that over here, then I'll turn it so that the arrow is kind of on this section because the gravity will affect that. 
Now, this is where you want to change all the settings for this. For resolution, for density, 1200. Uh, internal pressure, 4. Viscosity, 5. Max particles. Keep that at 50,000 just for now because we're going to... Um, we're gonna find out how much we actually need later. Uh, and so yeah, that is done. Chuck the speed onto 2.5. That's a nice speed. Oh, actually, mate, I might use 2.85. And yeah, so now we're ready to uh, simulate. So just hit down here, simulate. And that'll kind of simulate all the, um, all the particles. Uh, once you see that it's kind of filled up to about the top, um, I'll, I'll tell you what you want to do next. So we'll just wait for this to simulate. Um, if you haven't already, um, well you probably haven't already, but um, if you could, like this video, favorite it, share it. Um, I don't have many subscribers at the moment. My old channel, um, I, it was kind of too mixed up, so I just decided I'd, I'd make a channel based on or, or fixed on just designing stuff and graphics and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, now uh, yeah, so just like it, favorite it, share it, check it on Facebook, tell your friends about it, subscribe if you can, please. Um, maybe watch the video fifteen times if you want, if you'd like, please do that. Um, I'm not some crappy little shit or something like that. Uh, if you could support me, please do. Um, I'd, I'd just really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, so now now we're here, um, you can see that it's kind of nearing the top, so about here, you just want to stop simulating, hit statistics, now it has emitted 8,925, so I'd probably use then 9,000, now if we go back to here, hit simulate, uh, yes, um, it will stop emitting particles when it's well, what we had before. So then it'll probably end up a nice, well, it won't be capped. It'll probably be a bit flat there. It might look a bit weird, but I mean, who really cares? Uh, so yeah, so now we just have to wait for this to be done again. And yeah, so that's just a nice little tool for, for whatever um, reason. I guess you want to use it or whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for this to be done. Uh, also, if you have any uh, requests for any tutorials that you'd like done, uh, just tell me about it. Um, um, I'll be happy to oblige. If you want any backgrounds made, they are free. If I do get popular, obviously they won't be free, but because I'm just starting out, I'd like to get my name out there a lot. Um, so yeah, just... Uh, just I guess message me if you want anything, or if you, you feel like you deserve it, I guess. If you have over 20,000 subscribers, even 10,000, then of course I'll do it for you, and I will put my heart and soul into it. Um, so yeah, if you want intros done, I'm, I, I'm still getting into it a bit, but I'll, I'll generally be able to do it. Um, so yeah, so you'll notice that it stopped kind of emitting particles, and now they're kind of all swirling around, or doing whatever. And they'll come to a stop at 200. So that is actually really nicely rounded off. Uh, now, what we're going to do is head to about frame 100 and whatever. Um, go over to your mesh thing, click on particle mesh render kit. That'll autom or that will automatically make the emitter a child of the mesh. Now, with the mesh selected on this frame, hit build mesh. Now if you hit O on your keyboard, it'll smooth everything out and it will look like the goop that's going to fill up your L. Now just hit 8 to go back to that other view. Now with your particle mesh selected, go to 0, hit the um, the build meshes uh, thing my bob, um, and that'll, that'll build the meshes for every frame. So we'll just do that. Now this is quicker than simulating um, so yeah, we'll just wait for this to, um, to kind of be done, I guess. Not really much to talk about anymore. Um, I would skip this, but, I mean, it, it's, it's not worth doing, uh, 
so yeah. Also, um, guys, I, I've been having a few problems with ScreenFlow. It crashes a lot. I think it runs out of memory, but I do have 8 gig RAM. Um, I have an i7 quad core, 2.3 gigahertz, um, Mac. So, I mean, I don't understand why that's happening. Uh, but yeah. So now the mesh building is nearly done. In fact, it's basically done. So that's done now. You can look around. So that's pretty well rounded. Now that'll look nice. Um, now if you just want to head back over to here, you can actually delete that mo text, uh, and then you can. Uh, sorry. Um, now go to plugins, RealFlow, RealFlow Mesh Importer. Change it to. I'll actually just change it to L. Uh, emitter mesh whatever um, then hit on to file path find your uh, wherever you made your thing go to meshes click on the first one hit open now if we play along here you'll notice that it just kind of makes a beautiful little L how gorgeous is that that is really nice now isn't it so I mean that was pretty easy you guys really thought that was hard you you must have something fucked up with you uh, you'll notice that it disappears at 200 obviously you can just have a keyframe there and then it'll last there for longer um, I'll just show you what it looks like with this material uh, obviously I don't have any lighting but you can see that that kind of looks like water so yeah, so that's all kind of like goopy and stuff. Um, if you want it to look more like water, you can add, um, you can change or you can play around with all the viscosity settings and um, stuff like that. Uh, you can make everything a um, a word, so it doesn't have to just be a letter. So if I just zoom out a bit, if you do want it as an intro, it'll probably look best by doing this. Um, and that'll just fill up, and then that'll that'll be all blobby, and then that'll you can just keep it and and keep it like that, or or you could have it kind of sucking out, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought that was a kind of general nice thing to to um to show you guys. Uh, and yeah, please subscribe, do whatever, favorite, like, share, like I said before. Um, just support me. I I really want to start off again, and um. Seeing all you guys later.